Hello guys, this is Cyprint from Midas and FX Team, and today I'll do the tutorial for the one-way FSI, the new feature of Midas and FX 2015. So let's start by importing the CAD model. So I have it here, and let's go into geometry to see what we have. So, okay, so I have the fleet, and I have so if hide it, and I have two boards. So. Two, the two board parts are actually the same, but um, I need to, to distinguish all that because I will use a structural analysis and uh, structural thermal analysis and structural fluid analysis at the same time to transfer the temperature from uh, thermal CFD to thermal structural. So this is why I need two board uh, geometry model. Okay, so first let's make this part transparent so we see a little bit uh, better. And now the first step will be to uh, look at the materials. So we have already three materials. So the first one is the air, which will be for CFD, the air. Then we'll have the solid for the CFD for the board and the solid for the structural analysis. So we have to distinguish like that. Now let's create three properties which correspond to these three things. So first, let's create the board uh, structural property. Now let's go into CFD and create the board CFD property. And finally, let's create uh, the air. CLD, which will be the fluid. Now if you look in the walk tree you have this tree property created so all is good. Now uh, what we have to do is uh, create the mesh sets uh, which are going along with this. So let's... Oh yeah, before that uh, what I'll do is I just separate the geometry set so it's a bit better to a look at that. So let's create a new geometry set and in this geometry set let's include one of the boards like that and let's change the name by pressing pressing F2 so this will be a fluid fluid set and this will be this will be uh, structural set. Okay, now uh, we see a bit clearer between the different uh, sets. So let's do the meshing. So I'll do the meshing of the CFD board first. So let's go in the mesh tab, 3D mesh, let's select the part and let's look at the properties. So this is CFD board property the mesh size it's a bit coarse but for this tutorial it will be okay so I just uh, mesh it like that. Now let's mesh the fluid around and so the fluid will be air CFD so the thing is that the, the mesh around the board should be at the same size so we'll check match adjacent faces so it will uh, create basically the same size around the board but the mesh on the boundary can be a bit uh, bigger than that so let's just increase the mesh size a bit like that and okay so uh, let's give a name to this so this will be fluid CFD mesh Okay, uh, I can take a look. Take a look inside to see if everything is correctly, properly meshed. So it seems to be good. So you can see there's a link between the nodes of the fluid and the solid. So it's good. Now we have to create. So I will hide this mesh set and and these parts and display the structural board. So I have to create again uh, the mesh here for the structure. 
because the property is different and this will be yeah this is this will be the name of this part okay now um yeah for the first mesh that I forgot to give a name so let's uh, do it now okay okay now um the mesh sets are ready for uh, this so what I'll have to do is uh, assign the boundary condition for the flow so let's hide temporarily the mesh and display only um, the two parts related to uh, the CFD analysis so this is um, basically what we'll do is that in the inlet the air we enter like that with a velocity of one meter per second and it will go out as a pressure of zero so let's just assign those two conditions inlet face one meter per second and turn around outlet pressure zero okay now I have to assign some wall condition all around so let's assign the wall and uh, let's assign some inviscid walls like that okay and I have to assign wall around the board but uh, only around the, the, the CFD boundary so I have to hide the board part like that and this type of wall will be uh, no slip like that and okay okay now I have it now I created the um, the condition related to the fluid I have to assign the condition related to the temperature so let's um, up, up, let's hide this condition for the moment and display the board related to CFD and let's assign the CFD temperature to so to this face so it will be uh, let's say 80 degree apply and here to these those faces it will be 50 degree okay now I have temperature condition so now what I still miss is the um, uh, is the contact between these two parts because uh, these two mesh sets are not uh, the nodes at the boundary of the two mesh sets are not merged together so I'll have to create a CFD contact so let's create automatically a CFD fluid solid contact by selecting um, that fluid solid surface to surface automatically okay so we have to select the two geometries like that click on OK uh, let's look at the contact which has been created so it uh, seems to be seems to be good so now we created all the conditions for the CFD part but as it is one way FSI I have to create also the condition for uh, the structural part and actually uh, these conditions are very simple because all the temperature related things will be transmitted through the fluid so I don't need to assign them the only thing I have to do is to assign a boundary condition to this so to fix the board uh, at some points so let's look at the board like that and let's just fix some uh, position of the board so create the constraint and uh, front selection only so here 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 and here and also in the middle like that okay so now I created 
pin so now my board will be fixed in these areas so uh, I should have some holes in these areas but for the purpose of this tutorial it has been simplified so uh, the model is a bit uh, more easier to simulate and now basically the uh, only thing which is the have to be done is to create the interface which is the FSI interface so FSI interface will do the link between the CFD analysis and the structural analysis so it uh, you can find it here in the walk tree so you can do a right click and click on add or you can find it also here uh, FSI interface so let's uh, see how I can assign that so FSI interface let's display uh, all the parts and basically uh, it will be transmitted from the temperature from the structure to uh, from the fluid structure to the f the, the structure uh, structural now so I choose surface surface to surface face so here I have to choose the CFD board so let's unactivate this and select this board here and now I have to select the structural board like that and here in the data that will be transferred there will be the pressure but there will be also uh, the heat transfer so here you can choose to three ways to transfer either temperature heat flux or film coefficient so we, here I will translate transmit uh, the temperature so click on OK and now I have everything so I can just create my FSI analysis so we go in analysis FSI so I will give it a name FSI case and here you see that you have uh, CFD analysis and structural so the two which are linked so you can either link steady state with nonlinear static nonlinear steady heat transfer or nonlinear thermal stress or if you choose transient CFD you can link it with nonlinear quasi static uh, nonlinear implicit transient nonlinear transient heat transfer or nonlinear thermal stress so here we'll do a steady state linked with the nonlinear static analysis to check the stresses so let's assign all the boundary condition and let's remove what is not required so you have two subcases the first subcase represents the CFD subcase so you have the CFD boundaries here you have the FSI interface and you have the contact between the fluid and the board in the second case this is the structural so here you have only the boundary condition the FSI interface and here uh, the contact is not used uh, you, you don't need it so I just drag and drop it back in this area now what I have to do is to set up the analysis control both for the CFD and for the structural so let's uh, set up the CFD part first so f we need to activate this fluid heat transfer and solid heat transfer then let's look at the time increment number of step I will just use uh, that let's look at the field definition so here I have to so if I'm using turbulence I have to define this eddy uh, values here for the heat transfer I have to define the initial temperature of the fluid and the solid so let's choose 25 now uh, let's go into the model data so here I will use the first type of turbulence model zero equation mixing lens so the best model is the two equation KE but uh, this one is a bit faster to converge so I'll just use this one and it's all so I click on OK and for the nonlinear static so now this control you can control those or if you click on this and do on the subcase control then please activate the geometry nonlinear uh, the other advanced parameter here I don't need to touch that uh, okay so all that is okay now click on okay and basically I just have to run all that so let's go for it
So I have a few small warnings, so I may have to look at that, but uh, it will be okay for the for this uh, time. Okay, now the CFD solver just uh, started, so you see the three curves which represent the velocity, the pressure and the temperature. So uh, first the CFD analysis will be solved and then the result will be moved to the structural analysis. So I set up thousand steps of this analysis, so we'll have to wait a few minutes so you can see here uh, the advancement. If you want to view the result during the calculation you can open them, uh, this is not a problem, but I prefer to just to wait a bit. Now the, the CFD analysis is almost finished, so you see it directly uh, sent the information to the structural solver and now everything is finished. So the total analysis took 64 seconds and now, so uh, the results are not displayed automatically, so you have to open the result file and just choose here FSI output, open it and the result will be displayed like that. So you have first CFD result and then you have structural uh, board result. So I have to activate the right uh, mesh set. So first let's look at the CFD. So I will hide the structural mesh. So let's look at uh, velocity for example. Uh, let's cut that in two like that. And if I drag and drop, okay, I have, this is the, the f velocity flow. And temperature, yeah, temperature will give something like that. So you see the temperature around the two uh, chips. Now if I look at uh, only, so hide the fluid, so I will have, my board will be like that. So now uh, this is the temperature distribution on the board and this with FSI is transferred directly to the structural uh, model. So let's look at the structural results. Yeah, and it gives something like that for uh, deformation and the stellar stress. So I have the stresses and and the deformation of my board. So you see, you saw that actually uh, I don't have to define the the temperature condition because everything is transmitted directly from the flow. So this is uh, this is the one-way FSI analysis. Everything is transferred from the flow, so you change the parameters of the flow and automatically you can view uh, the update, updated condition of your uh, structure. So thank you very much for watching, uh, it's all for this uh, video tutorial, I hope you enjoyed it.